Hi friend, welcome to Zero Tire. Today we are going to discuss the remaining part of the volcanoes. In last lesson, we have discussed what is volcano, structure of volcano. Then we have discussed product of volcano and distribution of the volcano on the earth globe. But in this lesson, we are going to discuss the remaining part of the volcano, that is the classification of the volcano. Particularly in this lesson, we are going to discuss there are two types of classification of the volcano. So first one that is based on the volcanic activity. There are three types of volcano. So first that is the active volcanoes. Second one is the dormant volcano and third one is the extinct volcano. In the second classification, that classification is based on the exploded and ejected material through the volcano. On the basis of this, the volcano are again shows four different types. So these four types are the Hawaiian type, then Vesuvian type, third one is the Pelian type and fourth one is the mud volcanoes. These four belongs to the second classification and earlier three belongs to the classification which is based upon the activity. Now let us start the lesson. So first we will discuss classification based upon the activity. So this type of classification shows three types of volcanoes. First one is the active volcano, second one is the dormant volcano and third one is the extinct volcano. This type of volcano ejects lava, then gases, material from the particular fact. So therefore it is called as active volcanoes. So some of the active volcano emits each and every 15-20 minutes lava and such type of volcano are called as active volcanoes. The best example of active volcano is the Stromboli. Stromboli it is very well known among them and some volcanoes emits lava after an interval of 1 year, 2 year, 3 year like that and such volcanoes are called as active volcano and near about when we see the globe of the earth so more than 300 active volcanoes are present on the earth so this is regarding the active volcanoes now we will discuss the second type of volcano that is called as dormant volcano these are the volcanoes which are stopped ejecting lava but they can active any time. So the best example is Vesuvius type of volcano. Such type of dormant volcano are dangerously active after few hundreds of years. In 1579, one of the incident has been happened on the earth. So that is the Vesuvius type of volcano. In the crater and surrounding area of the crater, which is fully grown by the forest and near to that, Crater, there were three cities. These three cities are Pompeii, Herculaneum, and Stabi. These three cities were present near to that Vesuvius volcano. But when the Vesuvius volcano explosion taken place, and these cities are buried under the lava, and the thickness of the lava it may be from 7 to 15 meters. So therefore, there is a loss of forest, there is a loss of property, there is a loss of inhabitants. So, so therefore such type of dormant volcanoes are very very dangerous and this volcano is again explore, exploded in 1631 and causes great devastation in that particular area. So this is regarding the dormant volcanoes. Then third type of volcano that is the extinct volcanoes. Its name suggests these volcanoes are quit now. Though the volcanoes are exploded in the past, there is no hope of explosion in the future or in the present, such volcanoes are called as extinct volcano. When we differentiate dormant volcano and extinct volcano, so they are very very difficult because Vesuvius volcano, we can also uh, say that it is one type of extinct volcano. So there are many volcanoes which are now extinct because there are a lot of weathering and erosion takes place on the earth surface and due to this weathering and wind action, the a lot of craters are buried under the water, under the sediments. Therefore, their look is extinct now. Such type of volcanoes are called as extinct volcanoes. Then, we are going to discuss the next type of classification, that is the classification of volcano that is depend upon the exploded and ejected material of the volcano. So, these type of volcanoes, when we look towards the each and every volcano on the globe, each time every volcano shows different type of lava and the style of explosion every and each volcano is different from the other one. So 
the material which is ejected through this volcanoes on the basis of this there are four types of volcanoes so now we will discuss one by one so first one is the hawaiian type of volcano the most of the material ejected is the lava lava is the main ejecting material through this type of volcano the lava comes through that crater after a long gap after a long period and this lava come from main crater or sometimes secondary crater when the wind blows from that area the lava spreads like a form of red threads the people in that area thought that these lava are the here of goddess peli mona loa and kilura these are the two craters having height is different from one another one is situated at 4168 meter and other that is situated at 1232 meter and these two places separated from each other by a distance of 12 km the difference between their heights indicates that the lava comes from the crater through the vent and these vents are different in the particular volcanoes the fountain of the lava gushes up to the 244 meter so such type of lava is called as hawaiian type of volcanoes second type that is the vesuvian type of volcanoes this type of volcanoes are very rare and very devastating so one of the best example is the vesuvian type of volcano when the explosion is taken place through that explosion the lava comes out suddenly ejected material spread into the particular area and the material which is spread into the surrounding area it looks like a cauliflower the vesuvius is situated that is uh, 11.2 km from the naples height of this crater is 1220 meter from the mean sea level and because of this type of volcano there are three cities which are already uh, we have told three cities were destroyed in that particular region in 1579 strongly it is again one of the example which resemble like or which is looks like vesuvian type of volcano and the products through this type of volcanoes volcanic bombs ash etc the magma of this volcano is more viscous than the vesuvius type of volcano so this is regarding the vesuvius type of volcano then third type that is the pelian type of volcano the magma of this volcano is very dense compared to the hawaiian type vesuvian type of volcanoes the dense magma forms a plug and seal its crater and pelian type of magma destroyed one city the name of that city is saint peri city because of that volcano explosion the whole city is devastated or vanished or destroyed this incident is happening in 1902 and the burning lava in this particular pelian type of volcano the speed of volcano or the speed of lava is near about 3 km per hour so that was the speed in the particular pelian type of volcano then second example that is the mount patmai that is in alaska that is also one example of pelian type of volcanoes again one of the example of this pelian type of volcano that is the hibok hibok which is situated in philippines and it exploded in 1951 so these are the some examples having such type of material which is ejected through this particular crater and having high density magma and due to that the lot of cities in the world they are devastated destroyed then last type of volcano that is the mud volcano these are not type of volcano as i have told in earlier in the areas where petroleum and gas is found sand and clay a companies with this and the gas emit out in these areas deposit this sand and clay is deposited at the vent and form a core if water also accompanies a gas sand and clay form mud this mud is deposited on the mounds and gates hardened and it also stop the emission of gases when the pressure of the gas increases the top of the cone is exploded away it appears as if a small volcanic explosion has taken place these mounds of mud are called as mud volcanoes the best example of mud volcano is the bog boga and which is situated near baku baku area is near to the caspian sea so so there are four types of volcanoes on the basis of exploded and ejaculated material through the volcano so in this lesson we have discussed two types of classifications of the volcanoes so first one that is based on the volcanic activity and second that is based on the exploded and ejaculated material 
from that volcanic activity. So I hope these two classification you can understand thoroughly. If you like my video, share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Geo Entire All About There.